Here's the second installment of the Dwell CSANA project for TNT Double Shot. I'm Trent Bell. I'm an architectural photographer, sometimes editorial photographer. And this is Tim, Tim who's studio manager, retoucher. So the interesting thing about this project for post-production is that the bulk of post-production in an editorial situation like this um, is far more the selection of the huge amount of options of all the different images and then the very really light hand of post-production is it's heavy in kind of color and consistency treatment but right. not really like taking a lot of stuff out or manipulating or blending multiple images every single image here is probably from just yeah one, one off, image yeah. minus maybe the like a panoramic the that interior. we did in, on the interior yeah so yeah i mean it's all just you're kind of um setting the mood really and and kind of enhancing what was there i think uh that's it i mean there's not a lot to retouch out it's not it's not really about that right i think we took a couple like odd looking things in the water out and stuff like that but overall very little um so there's 144 images that we broke it down to here and so we're going to go through them pretty quick and like breeze by most of them just as a idea of what we narrowed this whole thing down to but then you'll see from the last video you know what dwell right. had selected to represent it um tim's gonna yell at me when he wants to stop and talk about something specific yeah. here or i will as well let's go um so you know that i tried to get like a square on shot of each kind of side of it i really like that one um but you can kind of see the yeah right off the bat those you can are see if you go back to the, like just the color difference in these two you can, right this one i think was yeah one of the ones that was selected so it's it's not drastic but it's it's yeah it's a, a consistent file, so it's, slightly colder warm yeah or, uh, colder yeah. blue to, trying to make it to have the that thing overall like oh it's it's the you're on the ocean it's cold it's it's you know it's raining or it had just rained it's foggy mm -hmm. and then you know the warmth of the the building there it's like a place you want to go right like this to me feels more it's flat, flat it's, and neutral yeah, and this has more of that presence and contrast and color temperature that that communicates a little bit more of the feeling of actually being there um yeah i mean i like so many of these but it just comes down to you know what the publisher wants um as we came up to you know uh up to the sauna there's just a lot going on and you capture everything you can details in the sauna details of how the sauna is constructed how you light the fire in it and everything else um the feeling of the view outside of it this was the interior images that that they didn't end up using i don't think and we went back and reshot this one with people in it in, in top and bottom of of an image um kind of how it holds on man i'd be worried about that rusty little chain being the only thing that is held that, that is that going that's the anchor i think that's I think how they moor it to it to the thing um it's cool little detail on how that window worked and slides into the yeah super cool it's cool you can see the water right through the floor you know they have to bring all their wood out with them so when you get there you kind of uh move that over a little rock to keep the door open um you know just sitting out there by itself the process of getting out there brendan driving his boat so when you're shooting this you're just you're not you're just shooting everything you're not everything that's happening just going crazy just going for it when you're anything not shooting, that someone jumping in the water you're looking down in the water at the rusty chain yep just just getting it all yep asking people to dive and yada 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 jump i always try and avoid getting any ripple or movement of the boat into the mm -hmm. water so yeah, if we had used point. this i would have cropped probably that a little bit right. i feel like those those uh small waves in front were probably created by the boat I like that one a lot that it's just like half a person i wish they would have chosen that one i mean you I got like the, the smoke got coming the out the boats the compression and then the person just half in the water um also a vertical you know that's the same image it's just showing you i think i shot that with the fuji and you can just zoom way in 
Uh, they ended up using that one, right? Yep. That's fun. I think. That I think one or so. that one, one of those. Just such a cool experience being out there. Just way out there by itself. I like that one. That's pretty neat. Yeah. We should use that somewhere. Use that one. <laughs> da, da, da. I like that one a lot. Detail. And then, you know, someone looking out the little porthole there. Now, the it was made to reflect kind of this uh, vernacular from the island, mm -hmm. boathouses and everything the else. Weather so, shingle. Right. So as our, we were on our way out, we tried to capture other little boathouses and little similar that structures. Looks, yeah, that, that one back one looks just like, the, yeah, like that looks it's just almost like, like this. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Right. Then there's the crusty crab and, you know, getting the whole process of arriving, getting the feeling, people you talk to on the way. Uh, just all of that goes into it. And so this, this whole is this jumping before the launch. Yes, this is before the launch, getting all the stuff together and then over because they had this kind of garage workspace separate from where their house was. It's a little bit of a walk between the two. And so then they were putting all the stuff together to put it into the sauna to then put it in the water and then to go out to the sauna. So you have to get all your wood and everything else. And they need a few tools just to get it ready to be towed over there. I like that one. Good detail. Kids watching the construction, <coughs> dad putting it together, focused. I like these these wooden details of, of how you can use wood to take the place of metal sometimes. Does that be as strong <laughs> as metal, though? I no. So. I nope, think. Nope, Is it just for nope. looks? No, you'd use it, but, you know, it, it's Maybe it's only for the few minutes yeah. while you're, you know, there using the sauna, but... Yeah, the problem is that you just get so many images and they can only use so many in the actual print publication. Um, but how many did they select it down to? It's only like, like 20. 20? Yeah. Which for an architectural shoot, 20 is a lot. But yeah, we also have uh, time-lapse footage of this whole thing going in that we didn't use anywhere. And then the, Yeah, this is the, the rain. This is here. when the rain started. I love like these images in here and that. To me, those are really interesting to show how wet it really was. And my phone survived there on the end doing that. Oh, that, that's your phone just sitting there, huh? Yeah, that's my phone right there. Just out in the open? Out in the open, getting rained on. It's weathered-ish tight. <laughs> Still works. Still works. Yeah. It was a fun time. I mean, look at that. That's, yeah, that's, that's wet. Yeah, that's, that's real bad. wet. <laughs> I like that one. That's a good one. And we retreated for a little while and went back and warmed up, walked through his shop with the boat works and education kind of uh, school that they do there for kids on the island, making, you know, actual wooden boats, which is super cool. These are some of the lights that the Raven Hill studio has uh, produced and out on the dock, getting ready to go back out to the sauna, getting kind of, you know, the feel and little things that you'd actually touch and run into and see and the whole experience. Um, I like, like those details. Nice. We had a bunch of these from the first shoot, but I failed to get really like the wider shots um, of, of everyone in there. Mm -hmm. So, and that's, that's basically um, most of the selection the all 144 or whatever from that if honestly if i had to choose one we're probably somewhere in there i love i love like that but um yeah post-production is you know mostly down to selection and uh you know color contrast and feel and vignetting and and kind of adding to the the focus of, of where you want people to to look mm. you know and yep. and and take these images in. Uh, what's your experience from going through this that's different than when we do like an, a you know solely architectural shoot? Um, just working with like setting the mood is kind of nice because mm -hmm. the, just having that atmosphere to work with and and really enhance and not have to think about com doing any compositing. It's just really like your only focus is is that that mood and, and that's that's kind of nice <laughs> yeah it's a um, it's a bigger brush that you get to, to yeah and you know feel rather yeah. than think about all the technical aspects and i think with this project i would 
I, I think I edited edited the images and then came back, like left them for the day and came back to them the next day. And like, oh, you know, I, I think I want to adjust them all differently, mm -hmm. uh, having seen them a second time. At that that process might have played out like two or three times, and then your feedback and so it, you know, there's three or four iterations of like how we want this to feel and, right. and that kind of thing. But um, yeah, it was an it was, it was just a nice project to work on. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I loved the shooting process and just the you know to, the ability to interact with that experience was was really cool and funny. Like uh, my friend Chet Williams had come back out or he had come he was visiting and assisting me while we were shooting a, a couple other things so he was here for the second time we went back out to this project and he was like oh it was great it's cool fun you know and when he told people about it when he got back to california who knew people who had been out there in the sea sauna either when we were shooting or like the week before or something and then I've, I've run into a couple other people too, just with these really long, weird connection loops back to other people that have been there and, and kind of odd mm. like that. But yeah, it, uh, I don't know. It, it, it was kind of a easy project, but extremely difficult <laughs> with the weather and everything else. And yeah, so um, I don't know what else to say about that. I don't either. All right, let's move on to the presentation of the video and our critique of it. Later. <laughs>